In this video, I'm going to talk to you about the clarify and organize steps of GTD and how they apply to the app Things 3. We'll also touch a little bit on the other steps just so you see how it all fits into context. Starting with capture, which you're familiar with. Do control space and you capture a task and then it shows up in your inbox. You can also do control option space when you're on a web page and it will pull in the link that you were on. And if this doesn't work for you, you got to set it up in preferences. But this is the smart capture. And this is really good when you have emails that you want to link to, which I'll show you when we talk about emails. But anyways, let's say you've done that. You've captured a bunch of tasks. And now you are in your inbox and you're trying to clarify them. The way this works is you go through each task one by one. And let me move this up. This is a little note. You go through each task one by one, and for the most part, you will either be deleting tasks, you will be clarifying the outcome, just like we've discussed, where you think, what is the outcome for this intention? You can do that mostly in your head, though. And then if not, if it's like a challenging one, you can write it out. And then clarify the wording so you indicate the next physical action. So knowing the outcome then helps you generate the next physical action, which you would place instead of the label of the task. And then once you do that, you have to organize it into projects, into areas, or I'll add a third one here, into time frames. And then this uh, will probably be a topic of its own video. But now I'm going to show you what this looks like for each of these. So let's take this task that I just made. I'm going to delete that because that's not really a task. This one, record video for Gabe. So a lot of tasks will show up in language like this. It's kind of like terse and and vague like what is the video about i know who it's for i didn't have that much time to write it down so i wrote it like this this is an opportunity to clarify the wording so what exactly is this we'll record a video on clarifying and organizing tasks in things three for gabe now i probably don't need to go this far i'm being a little bit a little bit i'm using this as an illustration i already know what this task is and i'm actually doing it right now so there's no point in really clarifying it further than this. But let's say I wasn't going to record this video today, I was going to do it next week, it would be really important to put this detail here. Because a week from now, I don't really know, I wouldn't really remember what video we'd, we'd have to do. Or if I did remember, I'd be trying to hold that information in my brain. And the whole idea is you want to put it out here. So that's one way of clarifying a task. In this case, I'm actually going to complete the task because I'm doing it right now and it'll be done momentarily. This one's an interesting one. So send Steph a message to hang. This task will only take a, a minute. And this is an opportunity to introduce the two minute rule, where as you're going through each of these tasks in your inbox, if any of them takes less than two minutes, stop clarifying your tasks and go do it right now. This is incredibly powerful. In the beginning, you might overestimate your ability to do things in two minutes. I still sometimes do this, but over time you get better and better. And then you also become faster. So it's almost like you're racing against the two minute rule. So this one, because it's a text message, I'm not going to do it right now, but I I just open up telegram, type a message, and then cross this off. So that's, that's clarifying tasks that are less than two minutes. You don't really need to clarify them. You engage with them right away. This one's an interesting one. Buy beef liver this week. So this is a grocery store task. And there's a couple ways to handle this. I'm probably not going to go buy just one item. I'm probably going to buy groceries for the week. So what I do is I have a running list of the groceries that I need for that week. And there's, you can make it a project. So you can say groceries for Feb February 2nd. And then I can move this task into there. And then when I open up the Things app on my phone, when I'm at the grocery store, I can just open this task and see all my all the things I want to buy. Another way, and this is what I prefer to do, it's really optional, is I'll create a task called buy more groceries. And then I'll put all the items as a checklist. And the way to do checklists and things just quickly is this field right here. So yeah, you can just write items like that. And then cross off the whole thing, all those items are crossed off. And then while you're in the grocery store, you can go like this. And it'll like keep the items there just to show you that you got them. 
and I like this. This is my preferred way of doing it, but you can also just do it this way. So that's clarifying for grocery items. Okay, here's another one. So this is my sister, Amy, and I just wrote Amy in here. So this is so unclear. You'll often have tasks like this because when you capture them, you just capture them in, in the raw way that they come up. This is kind of like overly unclarified, but it's a good illustration. So it's really to call Amy and talk about Lisbon plans. So I just like had a feeling, oh, we got to discuss, you know, while I'm in Europe, we got to make plans to see each other, etc. And I could put that in there. Now, there's a bunch more here, but I think that's enough clarification. Actually, let me see if there's another one. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to demonstrate something. So this let's let's do this. So let's say let's say I had something that said buy a flight to Toronto. And I assume I just don't have this project. In fact, I'm just going to delete this. Let's say you have this item, buy a flight to Toronto. This is something that is probably a project. It's going to take two or more tasks, most likely. And so sometimes when you're clarifying things, especially in the beginning when you don't have all your projects listed out, you will need to create a new project. So in this case, I would say return trip and then put a little emoji. And then you know what we do with projects. We write our outcome and our timeline. So the timeline, probably I want to have all this set up by early March. And then the outcome is I've bought my flights, my, my return flight and planned return details. So this would be things like Uber to airport packing. Yeah, I'd probably put packing in here as well, etc. So this is a project. And now that I know that I got this project coming up, I can, anything related to it, I would move into there. Now, I'm probably not going to do anything with it now, but maybe in a couple weeks I will. And here you have a couple options. You can trigger this to only appear in a couple weeks. So it disappeared from my list now. Or you can just leave it in the bigger list of all your projects. And I generally like to keep things all visible. And I'll move this to the bottom until, what the heck? Oh, well, there you go. And then once I get closer to the date, I'll move it up. Okay, so that's another way to, to clarify things. And also that includes a little bit of organization. So if we go back to this note, we talked about deleting tasks. We talked about clarifying the outcome. Usually this happens mentally, but when it comes to a project, you do what we always do, which is write down the outcome and timeline in the project. Clarify the wording to indicate the next physical action. This was an example. I wrote call Amy. So it's like a phone call. And then what you'll have is a bunch of clear tasks that are in the inbox that need to go somewhere. And your options are to organize them in projects. So at some point, you'll have your existing ongoing projects, and this will be a simple drag and drop. Or you organize them into areas. So let's see if there's an example here. Transfer money from PayPal. So this is a finance one. I can move it there. I can drag and drop. I often also just do Command Shift M and then type, oops, that's the wrong one. There you go. And then now it's in the right area. And, or you can drag and drop. And then the other thing is to organize them into time frames. Now, this is going to be a topic for another video, but just to, to, to answer or to quell some of your questions around, okay, what happens when I have all these tasks and all these different projects and areas, and now they're like hidden away in these places? How do I actually do them? Well, this is where the today view comes in where you pick a time frame that you intend to do a bunch of different things from these different projects. So for instance, these are all different projects and I've selected a subset of these tasks for today. And today you can use as any time frame you want. I actually use this bucket to indicate the week. So these are all things I want to get done this week, for instance. So that's uh, clarifying and organizing tasks in things three. I'm sure you have a bunch of questions and feel free to hit me up with them.